After you've gridded your watercolor paper, you're going to do the same thing to this block. Let me show you an example. So here is a finished example with the mural block gridded. You can see it has the identical coordinates at the top and the left hand side. However, the mural block is half the size of the watercolor paper. That's because we are going to scale up the mural block to a painting that is double in size. So let's get started. What you're going to need is your mural block. You're going to need a roll of tape. Any type of tape works fine. I just have painter's tape on hand. You can use masking tape or scotch tape. You're going to want to use some type of marker or pen. I'm going to use a fine point Sharpie. A pencil might be too light to go over this laminated mural block. You're also going to need a ruler to make your straight lines. And the last thing you're going to need is just a sheet of white paper. Oh, and also a pair of scissors. So paper, scissors, your mural block, a ruler, tape, and a marker or a pen. Okay? So the first thing you're going to do is cut this paper in half. So this is a sheet of computer paper. Honestly, the size does not matter the way that you cut it. The reason we're cutting up this white sheet of paper is to add it to the edge of our mural block. So the dimensions honestly don't matter. You can trim it up after you've taped it to the back of your mural block, okay? So I'm just gonna cut this sheet of paper in half. It's not perfect, but that's okay. All right. And I'm just gonna cut it right there. Again, not perfect. And I'm just gonna cut just a little window out. So I just kind of need this L shape to go around my mural block. If you want dimensions, let's see how big this is. It's a little over five inches, okay? And it's about one and a half to two inches thick. But again, you don't need to measure this. It's just to create a nice edge on the left and the top. Now I'm going to tape this to the back of my mural block. Okay, so let's flip this over, flip this over, and overlap it just slightly. and you're going to tape it down. I like to use two pieces of tape for this step. Okay, now we're ready to start measuring. This is the tricky part because this block is not four or five inches. These blocks are slightly under five inches. That's just the way the printer printed them. So I am going to teach you a technique on how to split this up in half and how to split up each of the four sections again, okay? I am going to zoom in a little bit for this step so you can see my measurements. Okay, so I need to find the center of this block. So what I'm going to do is measure the top of the block, okay? It is slightly under five inches, okay? I'm just gonna measure the millimeters. So it's four inches plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, almost 12, okay? Let's just stick with even numbers. 
So this is four inches and 12 millimeters. A full inch is 16 millimeters. So if this is four inches and 12 millimeters, what would half of that be? So four inches and 12 millimeters. So four divided by two is two and 12 divided by two is six. So the middle of this would be two inches, six millimeters because the length is four inches, 12 millimeters. So we're gonna count over to two inches and we're going to count six millimeters. One, two, three, four, five, six, and make a mark. So this is the center. Let's go to two inches, six millimeters for the bottom. So again, two inches, one, two, three, four, five, six. So mark that. And now I'm going to draw a line. So let's turn this so I can draw a nice line using my ruler. Again, you can use pen or marker for this step. And I'm gonna go all the way onto the white. Okay, now I have to measure this side so I can draw a line across my line. So you're going to measure against your block. You're not going to measure on the white paper. So my block is four inches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12, about millimeters. Again, so I'm going to measure two inches and six millimeters. Two inches, one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, I have to measure the opposite side as well. So let's just go over two inches, six millimeters. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I've made both tick marks. Let's turn my paper and draw the line. Don't forget to go all the way past. All right, now we have four squares. We're gonna split these four squares up again. So we're going to have several equal parts. 16 equal parts now. Okay, let me remind you and show you an example. So we're going to be splitting each of those four blocks up into four more blocks. All right, so now we're gonna treat these as individual blocks. Let's see, because they are two inches, six millimeters, let's divide that in half. We're gonna have one inch and three millimeters. One, one, two, three millimeters. We're gonna to go to the next block. One, one, two, three millimeters. I'm gonna to go to the bottom. One inch, one, two, three millimeters. One inch, one, two, three millimeters. Okay, let's draw our two lines. Let's turn our paper, put our rulers right under the tick mark. And remember, you can extend the line to the white paper. Okay? And if the line doesn't show up perfectly, the paper doesn't have to be perfect. Okay? Let's draw our next one. All right, now we have to go, okay, now we have to put four more tick marks before we draw two more lines. So I'm going to take my ruler, one inch, one, two, three more millimeters, one inch, one, two, three millimeters. Go to the bottom. One inch, one, two, three millimeters. 
one inch, one, two, three millimeters. Now connect those tick marks and extend your line to the white paper. That line did not quite show up. All right, we have all of our blocks gridded out. I'm just going to draw a little box here just to separate the first block. Uh, you can write your name. You could write your section. Let's just say this is first period A day, 1A. And you wanna write your grid block. This is 7F. So I'm going to write block 7F. And now you're going to want to add your letters at the top and numbers on the left. So the top is A, B, C, D. And the column right here on the left side is one, two, three, four. Okay, now that you have your mural block gridded out, completed, you are ready to start drawing with pencil on your watercolor paper that is gridded out as well.